What's going on out everybody? It's in my What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. I was sent this from Squid Industries. I was kind of really interested in this when I was buying the double barrel because I just kind of wanted a full setup and the guy's story kind of touched me. I got a lot of flack. Well, I didn't really get a lot of flack. I got this piece of shit tool to try to make fun of me. Say I was exposed. He ended up looking like a fucking asshole. Couldn't even understand three words that were coming out of his mouth. You know, your typical piece of shit that thinks he's cool. Loved the mod. Loved it. Well, here's the story. I was riding the other day on a motorcycle. Well, not the other day, last month. And I was coming to work and I was doing stupid shit on my bike. I don't know what that noise is. What is that? What are you beatboxing over there, Luis? Luis is fucking beatboxing while I'm doing a review. I'm just farting. Luis is beatboxing. It's a fucking circus in here. Who's got the tickets to this party? Not me. You want to come to my party? Em's over here ripping ass, blowing bottles off the shelf. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to be going over is the revolver. This is not it. This is definitely... It's what happens when people leave shit on my desk. Figure it the fuck out. What are we going to be doing a review on? Squid Industries sent me this guy. I was going to use this, so here's the story. Riding the other day, you know, on a side road... I was probably going a little faster than I should have. Don't lecture me. It fell out of my pocket and I couldn't find it. So I did a little reverse jammy. I was actually walking my heavy ass bike backwards. You have no idea what that will do to your calves and your quadriceps. For some reason, I feel a quadricep is your shoulder. Whatever the muscle in your thigh is, you have no idea how much you're gonna work that out actually. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what that is. I don't know if I'm, if I'm pulling out and I had two and three quarters. So I find it and I was a little upset. Still have it. What do I want? Caramel macchiato. That I don't know where it is. Who smacks their name? What am I? Fucking plain spoons? Okay. I don't know where it is. Anyway, it was good except for the little dial. It flew off. Squid Industries sent me their dripper. I hope this is the proper box I'm holding. Yes, it is. So we're gonna go over this. We're gonna run it down. It's kind of a basic dripper. It's nothing really special, nothing really to write home about or ride your motorcycle with. So without further ado, let's flip this shit. Let me show you what I'm working with. But if it's a, I'm a survivor, I'm gonna give up. It's not the song. All right. Stainless steel is what we're looking at. This is the typical Navy symbol, some chains, little anchor. I think a guy is taking a poop there on the anchor. Do you see that? Let me show you what I'm looking at. Guy's head, his hands are on his knees, and this is his butt. So he's pooping on the anchor. That's probably not what that is, but I can tell you that looks, you see what I'm talking about, right? Head, body, knees. He's, we all poop like this when we're like playing on the iPad. You put your knees in your elbows, then it rips your elbows apart, and then your knees have holes in them. This is the little story behind it. When I first read this, this really touched me quite deeply. So I'll go ahead and freeze frame that for you. We have a trinket bag, we have the dripper of sorts underneath. Deuce Bigelow with a lady's eating a soup and she has narcolepsy and she just falls asleep in the soup. Inside the trinket bag, we have a plethora of O-rings, some extra screws, and a tri-tool. The only issue I see with this is there is no squonk pin. I know people are gonna ask if this is squonkable, and as it stands right now, it does not come with an RSA pin. It comes with an additional 810 drip tip or grenadine, your typical Ultim style, nothing really special here. Kind of got the half moonsy look to it, more low profile, fat bastard style. Then we have the tripper right here, which is absolutely exciting. I know you hear the excitement in my voice. Woo! That's my excitement. Hope I didn't scare you. What I love with this, this sounds so corny, but these cutouts remind me of, so I looked it up. I couldn't figure out what it's called. So I'm just going to go with cylinder because that's all I can find. I know it has a certain name to it where you spin it, you put the rounds in, then you press the the hammer back and you play Russian roulette. Eh, not so much Russian roulette. We're talking Midwest style revolvers. Well, no, I mean, revolvers are a modern day thing, but they're not, we're not here for that. So it has that lovely little cut out of this. I know it seems so aesthetically superficial and it is, it's not gonna have any kind of special function to it, but it looks, you cannot deny the fact that that just looks absolutely badass. Aside from that, it looks like a very basic 
dripper. The 810 on the top of this is kind of like uh, the taller style. I would much prefer this style on it because it's more fluid and your top cap is going to spin freely so you can adjust the airflow. We do have either a dual coil option or single coil. We do have zero conical shape to this. I know some people debate whether or not you get more flavor from a conical shape. Some people say you do not. I for one have no idea. I've never noticed a difference. Of course if I'm vaping off of something that looks like the top of a dildo I'm sure that would have more flavor. Take a look at the thickness of this. Granted, the thicker this chamber is going to be, the slower it's going to dissipate heat. So as thick as that is to maintain that depth and gouges in the actual sleeve, they had to make it thicker. This whole fucking time I was calling it the revolver. This is a peacemaker, which I believe was made by Winston. Nope. Winston was a president. That's not it either. We go into a very standard look for a dripper. Nothing to write home about, velocity to post, multiple ports, really big, really spaced out. Well is fairly deep. If they were to include a squonk pin to make this an RSA, they would have to have a whole post here because it is all one piece. What I'm noticing here is it's going to be very difficult for you to see, but you can see that on the right post, the screws are closer to the edge than that of the left post. It is minuscule. It's probably about one millimeter. It also appears that the right post is shorter than that of the left. 10.74, right? And then the left one, 11 point. Real simple. One thing I want to mention with this is, yeah, you know, it's your typical style of dripper, two post velocity style. I always preferred any dripper that has its own individual port for each leg. 38 gauge over dual 26. Zoom it in a little bit for you. Real simple, easy. Inner diameter is 3.12. Obviously I have to fire it up, ramp it up, get it ready to rock and roll, but that is the build. There's really nothing special with this. So let me uh, put some cotton in it and then we'll bring it on the top. I'll let you know my final thoughts on the Peacemaker 2.1 by Squid Industries. It's a really serious lip they got going on there. That's something I didn't notice. You don't see that too often. What's up, Cream Puff? Peacemaker 2.1 sitting on top of the Gen 3. Absolutely love it. Well, I love it. Let's not get crazy here. Let's not, you know, throw some darts in the dirt. I don't even know what the fuck that term means. <laughs> don't laugh! Shut up! It's gonna fucking ruin my review! Stop laughing, Luis! Jesus Christ, get yourself together! Put your hands on your mouth! Fucking, I got this guy working here, right? Trying to do a review, and all he does is giggle, and then he makes all this food noise when he's eating. Chews with his mouth open, smacks his lips, when he's chewing on gum, laughing real loud when I make a joke. So basically, I can't fucking do a review if this guy's working here because he's loud as shit and obnoxious as fuck. And his middle name is William. 0.27 build at 61 watts. Let me show you what I'm working with. Fully wide open air with those dual jammies. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna need a whole lot more power than 60 watts. Let me call William in here. 80.5 watts, that's what we're gonna go with. There we go, now we're making money. Well is nice on this, it is. It's a nice well, but it's another dripper. There's nothing really special about this. What is special is the actual story behind it, which of course I'm not gonna let that affect my rating and the, the cylinder look on the side of this. I think it looks really badass, the outside. As far as the internals are concerned, you know, it, like I said, it's just another dripper. Two posts, that's a good thing. As long as it's not a clamp to me, that's a win. I just don't like clamp decks at all. One wire bigger than the other, can't tighten it down. With portholes, you just put that Jimmy Jam in, tighten it, you know what I'm talking about, making money. I'm gonna put a little bit more power through it. We're just, just gonna go through the roof here. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. 112 watts, here we go, because this is going to get ridiculous. That's a problem, that's a problem with 112 watts. 
You don't even get a full hit. You get like half a hit. You know, this is one of those strippers. I really don't know what to talk about. The well is decent. The airflow is decent. The sides of it, the sleeve is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like that. Would have preferred a different drip tip in this though. I would have liked that black on that style, not the one that it comes with because it's really protrusive. It reminds me of a zit on top of my dripper. If you're into zits and you have acne, this might go well for you. Not for me though. On a zero to 10, how would I rate this device? I would give it somewhere right in the middle, 5.56. So what is wrong with you people? You cannot laugh for a fucking day. I have my employees are all broken here. They're all broken. They're like old records. There they go. You hear them? They're like fucking cackles. I got two cackles working here. I think that's when you laugh, isn't it? When you're cackling? I don't think that's an animal. All right. 175 watts. At this point, it's not even about... Like, you know you got some big ass lips when you can flick your shit and it makes that loud ass noise. What I was doing was I had like something on my lip like a booger or something so I tried to like flake it off and I just flicked my lip. Got them bum bumps. Here we go, 175 watts. I don't even know why we're doing this. Uh, yeah, let's go, here we go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys around. It's been real nice seeing you, and I've kept it real. Have you? Jay Hayes out. I'm out of here. Not but for real. I've kept. I've kept it real. Jay Hayes out. I'm just really pulling myself back a little bit so you could see my jeans. If you only saw the way I was standing right now. It's me squeezing my breasts together for you.